Hi, it's Barb coming to you from my craft studio. I just got the We Are Memory Keepers pocket punch board. I ordered it from Blitzy. My first time ordering from Blitzy in a while. I had issues the first time I ordered from them. That was probably three and a half, four years ago. Um, prices were changing when I put them in the cart, um, which I probably wouldn't have ordered right then, but I had, a, had won a gift card, so I wanted to spend it. So I went ahead and bought things and then it took three weeks to ship and then when I got it my order wasn't correct so I you know I had complained and they had said oh we'll issue you reward points which I never went back to the site until recently and discovered that I had reward reward points I had like over twenty dollars in reward points I think that was from the purchase and from what they gave me for all my difficulties but so I decided I would order this from there because I haven't been able to find it locally yet and it was the only punch board that I still needed. So I went ahead and ordered it. I just basically had to pay shipping and tax on it. Um, I have already opened it, as you can see. So usually you get the punch board. The punch boards always come with the little punch, usually I have a little punch up here, making sure I can see it in the camera, and then the little cutting blade here, and then the scoring tool there. This case has one that folds out, these two fold out for scoring purposes, and it has two little guides here that you place one, it says A through F. That is one complaint, I guess, that I would have about VR Memory Keepers, is their boards just have the embossed lettering it's not it would be nice if it was done like this here where it says pocket punch board what because they want you to see the name of it so they put it in gold it'd be nice if they did the lettering here that way too which eventually yeah it may wear off but the first few times using it is probably the most important for that i might try to color them in with a pen and see if it works i happen to know this one they have little arrows on the wheels, little things, you want them to point a certain direction. And then they have their big directions, which one side on this one tells you this is the pocket with the flap, and this side says it is the pocket with the notch. And it tells you somewhere here, like the first instruction is to pick the size and style from the chart. They have this little thing, which is your chart of all the different sizes that you can make. One side's in English and the other side is probably Spanish. I don't know any other language, so that's hard for me to say, but my guess would be it would be Spanish. The first side column tells you, you know, what size envelope do you want to end up with? You pick that out of here. This tells you where to put your guide labels. It has one for either A to F and then one for one, two, or three. And then this is the size you cut your paper if you want it with a flap. And this is the size you cut it if you want a notch. Now it does have a handy little envelope for that to go in and store on the back of the board. Which that's nice that you can store it right with the board so you can find it easily. first one says to choose your style chart style and size from the chart which I should have left that out I had decided to do the one that finishes up four and a quarter by six so if I do it with a flap it's nine by eight and you want the guides at F and three and then it says to place the guides according to the chart with the arrows pointing down and right. So this one needs to go the other direction. That way your pockets line up right. And then it says to position your paper under the track. First chart measurement should be placed under numerical guide. So the first chart is the longer side. So 
So then we have to guide so it goes up there. So, want the long, so I want the long side to go on the top. And then we want to cut the corner off the paper. I'm not getting it seated in there right. Oh, I had it backwards. That, and then we want to flip the paper so the cut corner is reflected horizontally. I like that they even give you nice pictures on the directions so you can see what they mean by them, which isn't always important, but it can be. And then you flip the paper again. In this case, you want to do making sure I had it right. That way. Extended the score arms, it tells you, and then it says to score the paper. Just gotta lift this up out of the way. Oops, I think we want to go this way. No, that's not right, because then I will score that. Oh, I gotta flip it over, that's why. I forgot I had to flip it when I cut, so I would have to flip it to score as well. It makes perfect sense. It's always hard to see on pattern paper. Fold them. That one didn't quite, the arm wasn't quite quite long enough that I could see. Or maybe I just had it positioned wrong. That could be. Fold paper, glue it to the two long sides first, it says. I have my square tape here, so I'm gonna use that. Sometimes when I make envelopes, I prefer the score tape. I know it's going to stick. And then, because sometimes with liquid, I get too much there, and then it gets bubbly. I suppose if I practiced more with it, it wouldn't do that to me, right? with a flap. And now we'll try the envelope with the notch. And it's nine by, this one's nine by seven to create the same size envelope. Want the long side under the numbers. At least in my particular case, I don't know if that's always the case, but in my particular case it is. That one, and you flip it. Now the one with the notch, I noticed looking at the directions earlier, I kind of flipped them over a little bit. You only have to cut one side. Show me not being able to operate the punch board. It must be 11 o'clock. Yep, it is. I take meds at 11, so my Fitbit was going off to tell me that it's time to take my medication. It's going to wait just a little bit. Anyway, let me flip it and do the other side. So to me, that should be just a tad longer than what it's saying. Anyways, fold it on the score lines.
but you really have enough, even with it being just a tad too short. And that's only going to happen on the biggest ones. You have enough that you can fold it without an issue. This one up. And then to create the notch, that's where this comes in handy. And it's got lines on each side labeled A through F. So depending on which size paper yours was, which mine happened to be F, which you can see I fold it in too much, you center it on those lines. Oops. Center it on those, between whatever lines, whatever letter you had cut with, and then punch, and you have an envelope with a notch. I like the notched one. I think I'm going to use that one more than the other one. This one... I probably could have almost created with my envelope punch board, but I could see using this a lot in a planner or journals. You really could use it in a lot of things, anything you need a little pocket for, a altered book, whatever. So I think I'm really going to enjoy my little punch board. I love the We Are Memory Keeper. I love their tools in general, but I really like their punch boards. I like that some of these are so compact that they're easy to store. And then this folds up and goes in the little envelope and slides on the back. Now this one doesn't do that. I guess you could fold it up and make it fit in the envelope if you really want as you can fold it up small enough to fit in there. If you do, I will try that and see if it works. Because I like to keep these instructions too, just in case. If I don't use it for a while, sometimes I forget. Oh, how did that? How did that work? <laughs> I don't think I. No, I didn't fold it enough. I think it's going to have to go in half. I was thinking thirds would do it, but I think in half again. It probably doesn't matter so much if it sticks out. But I do like that they had the sizes made so that they would fit in there. It's a little snug in there, folds it up that many times, but it will still fit back there. So, and we can just store it with the rest of my punch boards. I hope you enjoyed that little peek at the pocket punch board. Tell me, do you like the We Are Remembered Keepers punch boards? Have you used them? Do you have a favorite? My favorite is probably the pinwheel punch board. I like making pinwheels for my daughter's classroom, and I should probably do that for Easter because it's just... I just think they're fun to make. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.